Next one. You know, we need all, we see all these nice posters. Uh, I'm so lucky. I always tell my friends, my wife, I'm so lucky I know people who smile and help me out. And one of that very special person is Janet Corman. So whenever I have asked her, I know she's a very busy person, but whenever I have asked her to do something, she hasn't said no, so I better stop asking her before she says no. <laughs> Here's Janet, she's gonna do some points for us. It's a great honor to read tonight with all you outstanding poets. Okay, I'll start right off with poetry because it's what it's all about, right? I wrote this poem a couple years ago for, I think it was for National Poetry Month, so I think it's perfect for tonight. I am a poem. I am full of words. My skin can barely hold it in. Underneath it all I feel a resonating hum. Your touch tickles my stars. Something inside me creates a buzz. I am a poem. In the sky, the full moon watches. Your eyes carry around its reflection. Your words absorb into my imagination, drifting into my mind's eye to materialize in ink. I am a poem. Dive deep to discover the ocean inside of me. Step on my purple shore with the whisper of your name. Allow my planet to pull you in the right direction. Stir my sky until your colors caress me. I am a poem. Hold the universe in the palm of your hand as if it was but a grain of sand. For we are all one, together and individual. We are each the center of the world, citizens of the imagination. We are we, I am you, and you are me. We each encompass all that we are meant to be. I am waiting to be written. I am a poem. Uh, I lost a dear friend um, from the past who I hadn't seen for a long time, so this goes out to her. Blossoms for Sherry. Pink floral fantastic. Overhead arbor, bloom, sky, alive. We stand below, enshrouded in quick silver aura, dreaming you back to yesterday, to the way things <coughs> used to be. A tepid breeze blows as blossoms fall like tears from our eyes. A sudden chill touches the air. The early buds shiver, knowing all beautiful things leave too soon. Happy memories of times gone by spring us forward to a place where only love and laughter remain. Cherries blossom for you. Even the trees have forgotten the dark winter. And this is another poem that sort of accompanies that. I don't have a title for it. I fold into the dusk like a child into her mother's arms. All around, a vast greatness of beauty surrounds us. Grief fades into the darkness. It is only in the light that its shadow can be revealed and its truth can be seen. And this is for International Women's Day last weekend. I think it's International Women's Month. We deserve a year, but I'll take a day. There is an International Men's Day, by the way. I think it's in November, right? Do we know it? Yeah? yeah? Do we know it? I don't know. November, maybe. We all deserve a day, right? We have Mother's Day, too, so women kind of get two a year. When great women soar, when great women roar, obstacles fall away, mountains crumble in her wake, and she rises. And when great women are pushed to the floor, faith stumbles. Righteous anger floods rivers black and blue. The truth will be told from shore to shore. 
secrets no more. When great women soar, skies clear of clouds, love shelters all in its embrace and dark days shine. The world blossoms, tragic kingdoms sink to bottomless pits and lightness reigns. All of the great children of this earth women bore, from child to woman, from waifs to warriors, all from her womb, to the cradle and the grave, born each man too. Her beloved sons and daughters, rise with respect, remember us, all from one and all equal. Thank you.